Alright guys, it's August 27th, 2015. William Brower here. This uh, this video uh, came across my social media page and I thought it was very interesting, very disturbing what they were saying about Executive Order 13603. Uh, this is a radio conversation between Ms. Danny Baby and... Dick Gregory. So let's listen to what they have to say about this executive order. And then let's find out the truth for ourselves. Or let's find out what's being said in this executive order. Let's go. Did I say that? Yes, you I did. did. Yes, you did. Executive Order 13603. 13603. President authorizes slave labor okay. no, keep on, keep on. That's wait a minute give me a minute just give me a minute okay. are my eyes deceiving me executive order 13603 Obama okay. authorizes slave labor on a large scale on American soil say what President Obama signed his own executive order, which allowed for the president to enact slave labor on a large scale on American soil. For the Americans who have been targeted for FEMA camp detention, FEMA camp detention? Mm -hmm. So now we have the people who are going to clean the roads. We, is this modern day CC camps? Mm -hmm. Forced keep labor? On, keep on, because that's just the first part. The way you get the seed. Where he can take your water, check your water down. Okay, let's let's go to it. Let's go to it. Most will voluntarily self-incarcerate in order to avoid starvation for both them and their families. The following excerpts go. from Executive Order 13603 will be enacted. Third world population control. Using food as one of the primary weapons. I keep telling people. Mr. Louis Farkin has been talking about growing our own food, hooking up with the black farmers. Let me continue. Lawrence Lucas has been talking about it. Let's move on, Beverly. Baby, you can put your whole farm thing, they come over with one drone and spray it and everything you eat out of the be poison, okay? So it's on. Why, it's, on. Why, it's on. It's on. It's on. It's on for us. Listen to this, folks. Third world population control using food as one of the primary weapons has long been a matter of official covert U.S. national policy and a portion of President Obama's executive order EO13603. Did you hear me, folks? Now, this is really interesting to me because you remember, was it a couple of weeks that Bill Gates and Melinda Gates went to the White House? Yeah. Now, was it a couple of months ago that a report that came out and disappeared about yeah. Bill Gates being involved in population control uh, campaigns in Africa, on yeah. the continent of Africa? Yeah, he ain't gave a nickel to poor white children in America <laughs> in his life. But wait a minute, he's over there, and it's about population control. They are paying but people, like China did, not to have children. They're the over there word testing is, on them. The cold word is useless either. So when you hear that, you don't think they're talking about professors, college presidents, police chiefs, the military. That gives you a fake that you're talking about poor. It's useless either. And Henry Kissin wrote up the whole document, and a federal judge sealed it, and we went into court with a group and got it unsealed, okay? And it tells you about them. Them, Bill Gates, uh, Ted Turner, huh? All them thugs is listed. And they don't know they ain't going nowhere. They're going to get them, too. That's a game they play. We'll take a break, and when we come back, more on Executive Order 13603 and what it says you can and cannot do. What you need to hear about this, though, it's a fait accompli. It's already the law. Already and I, the law. And I bet you, you didn't know a thing. No, a thing.
A-T-H-A-N-G. Guys, I'd like to uh, say thank you to Danny and to Gregory bringing up this subject. You know, even if I don't agree with their translation of this order, it's great you're bringing these things to light. Um, looking at Wikipedia here, it just says he's delegating authority and addressing national defense resource policy. Um, they're actually saying that it goes way back to the Truman administration, you know. How about let's not blame some old administrations, but Wikipedia here says nothing about slave labor, FEMA camp, stealing all your water and food, um, nothing like that. So I was a little suspicious. Now let's do the proper thing and, you know, let's talk about this. When Miss Danny here brought up Executive Order 13603, she was negligent in the fact that she was reading someone else's commentary and someone else's translation about this. If you want the truth, read the actual law. Okay? What am I doing here? Executive order, national defense pre preparation. Um, I read through here and I found some... You know, it's all just about efficiency and responsiveness and being able to respond to the threat. Okay, that's normal. Um, you can read through this yourself, but... Okay, he, he's allocating... Uh, here are these duties to these secretaries. Okay, Secretary of Transportation is all forms of civilian transportation. And later on at the end, they define what civil transportation is and what it is not. Nothing that very nefarious there. But what's this? I saw this. Chemical and biological warfare. The authority conferred by Section 104B of the Act 50 USC Act 207B is delegated to the Secretary of Defense. Okay, wait. I thought we weren't allowed to do chemical and biological warfare. Isn't that against the conventions? But here it explicitly says, hey, Secretary of Defense can go ahead and possibly claim chemical and biological warfare. Or does it? So how would you determine this? Uh, you go ahead and leave this section out, because the section is just like a page number, so you just copy this part. 50 U.S.C. 207B. Okay, so here we have, and if you see here, uh, 50 U.S.C. 207B, limits on actions without congressional authorization. So this is saying, what can somebody do without Congress? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so let's let's read about this a little. I'm sorry, I'm having to really uh, resize here. So, no provision of this act shall be exercised or interpreted to require action or compliance by any private person to assist in any way in the production or other involvement in chemical or biological warfare capabilities unless authorized by the president or the president's designee who is serving in a position at the level one of executive schedule in accordance with section 5312. So what is this? This is saying several things. First off, the president has given level one of the executive schedule to many of his different secretaries. This means that these secretaries are making decisions like they were the president, with the power of the president. So, he's basically given these secretary the ability to wage chemical and biological warfare. Okay, without compliance or required action needed by any private person. 
This is without congressional authorization. Wow. Very scary, guys. Very scary. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I was talking about making loans and loan guarantees. Uh, you know, when you have government that can go ahead and say, hey, we're going to give ourselves a loan for this and that, and it's not a separate entity or separate decision making, I become very skeptical. Strengthening domestic capability, um, utilize authority of Title III or any other provision to, to appropriate incentives to develop, maintain, restore, and expand the productive capabilities of domestic sources for critical components. That to me reads almost like carte blanche for them to say, well, this is important. So it needs to be done. Hmm. Uh, there was another, there was another part in here about supplies that, that people have. Uh, and it was saying that they can come in and under the supplies, if they deem that you have, if they deem that you have more than what you need, then they can put it to the National Defense uh, Fund, or it, it, I forget exactly how they stated it, but they can go ahead and grab, if they determine that you have more than you need, of almost anything, they can grab it and put it in a national defense fund or a national defense um, just in a bank for everybody else because you don't need this by yourself. Um, very, very scary here, guys. Uh, there's one other part where it's talking about hiring people um, and what it says is it says that they can they can make people work oh here it is consultants the head of each agency under this order is delegated the authority to employ persons of outstanding experience and ability without compensation so, if one of these secretaries determine we have a need for your consultation on agriculture, and you're an expert, you have to work for us without compensation because you have outstanding experience and ability. It also says that they can employ experts, consultants, or organizations. That means they can pay them. So here, they have the power to determine Hey, we need you to work for us. And we can determine if we're going to pay you or not. Very, very sketchy here, guys. I would very suggest everybody goes to read this order for themselves and determine for themselves how nefarious you believe this is. Um, as for Danny and Dick, I think they're really going to extremes here. I can see how some of these things are supported. Slave labor. Hey, yeah, we can hire you without compensation. Um, the redistribution of food and other assets because you have too much. Is that saying that they're population controlled by food? I don't think so, guys. Anyways... Executive Order 13603, check it out, it's William Brower, hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, hope you see a little bit of the bias from the media, uh, there's bias on all sides guys, for that reason, read and interpret yourself to find the truth, as always, I love you guys, I like my family, take care, till another video.